more people see, then Three, we'll see two, what it's like. One. So Look let's at this start. group of five. You guys would make a great basketball team. Just think about it, alright? There's actually enough room on the internet for everybody, so feel free to join the audience and vote along. Alright, to steal Nike's tagline, let's do this. Okay. Hello, I'm Todd. If you enjoy the game, please like me on Facebook. Or anywhere. Please just like me. Here's a quick please but like skippable me. tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So, in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded okay. for writing the twist, and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like Does and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Please like Let's and start subscribe. Things off at, uh, Follow and subscribe. Social networking site. Okay. So, you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly. Just waiting on Foggy? Oh. It's not Foggy, is it? Good lord. Uh, does he jump in and check out straight away? You're getting another player's answer on your device. Take these words out of context in the most ridiculous way you can. <laughs> That's a good, a good little uh, comment from the bottom right. I think the red player might be AFK. Um, his, his name did begin with a V. I think he joined, expecting me to go straight forward. It. Didn't realise I was starting at about that six. Well, here goes nothing. And just to, to get round to jump out. <laughs> I like it. I like it. As a lovely day spent the time with my grandkids, they wish they looked like that every day. <laughs> You shall sleep those eggs on both feet. I think it's ridiculous to count those sacks on. <laughs> well, we if we try to help others, we're all just a bunch of idiots. Stop showing up naked and I might feel bad. I like to wear nice things. 
Okay. I'm not sure Which what to do with you laugh the hardest. Vote now. Um. Uh. Mine looks pretty bad. To be honest with you. Mine looks really bad. And it wouldn't surprise me if it was Hugh Janus. Because I think I know who Hugh Janus is. Okay, here are the verdicts. Oh. Here's who twisted your words. Some points for them. Oh no! Right! And you, the victim, get some pity points. You look like a fool. Nice. Va Vartal. Let's see where everyone stands at the moment. Vartal, if you're in the chat, can you give us a... Can you send us a message? Great. Now let's go to, uh... Okay, round two. Job networking site. Joan of Arc. She's lit. Ah, I get it. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space. I feel like I'm opening myself up to some shots here. What an audience! Hello, person in the audience. It does look like the bottle might be AFK. Any second? What the hell? Here's your clay. Now mold it into something beautiful. Uh, Meg, you've got to try and come up with something ridiculous that matches up with uh, what's above. I don't know what to put in. I want, I, I want the better answer. <laughs> Let's see how it goes, Maggie. You'd think I'd learned my lesson, but yet, here we are again. <laughs> Recommends Eugenius. No. She is a real person. Thank <laughs> Frank. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Very short, long black hair, never paid attention to me. Top phase! Nah, it's social love being around people. Roy Moore? Oh, the people feel me a joke. Someone who's fair and brave. That's not ridiculous! That is not ridiculous. Here are your candidates. Now place your votes. Who looks the most ridiculous? Um, Maggie looks the most ridiculous. That's just, yeah. Is Maggie Luke Skywalker?
Oh, uh, thank you very much for following me as well. Here's what people think. Oof. He's not here! Yeah, he's winning! <laughs> Let's see what that round did to things. I am... I'm... I'm losing this. Let's okay, keep this party thing. train moving. Go Let's to pick a it up. news site. That's not very good. It's um, time to answer another prompt. I'd like you to really listen to your back. heart he, this time. He was a, I don't know. I don't think he'd come back. We'll see. You'll see that the vassal is not moving anywhere. I'll open you up to a new game after this. I do like this version of the game. Alright, let's do the twist. Mine is really bad. I don't know what to do with that. Here we go again. Let's see. That's just bad. <laughs> Too many slutty parents. <laughs> Give you a sticker afterwards. Yep, I know which one I'm going for. Of course, what you know about who is not here. Let's see how everybody voted. Hundred percent of the audience picked what yeah. I left. I like it. 
It's time for the scoreboard. Oh. Still bottom. I don't, I'm still bottom of this. I don't know. Let's send things at a bad. photo sharing site. Photo the points are worth double this round, so anything can happen. We can't let the person who is not here win. All right, here's your last prompt. You know what to do. Um, Count it down with us. 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. This is gonna get boring. <sighs> really sorry about this. I don't know. I think, I think the answers are stick picks. It's the last round, so don't hold anything back. Uh, AFK is away from the keyboard. For the person in the audience, I we will uh, open a new list to get you in. Gulp. It all comes down to this. Hello there. Bestie SpongeBob. Hello <laughs> there, S4 L E H. Is that Bala? Sounds rude. Oh, good lord! Oh, oh, that's nasty. Don't forget to pack! Bartle. I'd love to ride that from me. <laughs> okay, go ahead and cast those ballots. Oh, God. Yes. I'm sorry, Maggie, but you look that. Yeah. That's a lot of cum. That's a whole load of fun. Let's see who got the points. Whoops. See that, that phone down you. that's red? Is Vartal? Does that mean Vartal's picking himself? Is that why he's ahead? It all comes down to this. Vartal oh. Lefty with a win! The double points from fourth to first! And I stay rooted to the bottom! Well, in my. Congrats! Well, I always what? knew it'd be you. And now you're going to help.
out. I'm gonna do it again. New players. So we can get in. So whoever was in the audience, you can jump in. <laughs> Your mom. Okay, so we got myself, Maggie Sims, your mum, far and lefty. I'm gonna give it another couple of seconds, see if we can get everyone in. Because I did see someone in the audience. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Oh, in the room to do with me. seem familiar. Okay, so... Oh, hey, didn't we meet in that chat room about ferret breeding? It's not too late to get into the audience. Go ahead and join okay, the we'll mob. we'll do it just the four of us. Let's embark on a journey we'll never forget. I do find the music in these games quite good. So yeah, head bop them. Greetings, I'm Todd. Would you believe I got this computer at a yard sale? Let's okay, let's tutorial. treat this like an ad and skip it. Let's start things off at a... E-commerce site. E-commerce site? Weird. Okay. Okay, you're getting a prompt on your device. Don't overthink your response. Just follow your gut. Another player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. I feel pretty happy with mine. Dank meme some account. After game idea. Wait, no, Maggie. She's still here. One. Ah! It's the moment of truth. Oh, poor stars used. <laughs> ah, okay, Maggie's still here. But I didn't see it while the screen's on a Friday night. Oh, that's nasty. Full of Pokemon stickers, white sneakers. Eh, that's not great. I I assume that one's Maggie's. Who looks the most ridiculous here? Um, Place your vote now. Here are the results. Yeah. This is who burned you. They get some points. <laughs> and 
you, the victim, get some pity points. Yeah, I, I figured you didn't, Maggie. Uh, oh, I think they, I think that's what happened with Arthur oh. before, where they just put in their own answer. Here's the order of who I think is cool from top to bottom. Yes, I'm not bottom! Okay, let's move on. Let's go to a uh, social media site. Choking, it's bad, but I've taken. Your second prompt is being sent to your device. Please answer it. This inspires you. Take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. Okay. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I wish I could be like you. Me too, Megan Trainer. I'm out of the US. England is my city. I think I know who that is. I think I know who that is. Um, Look for the comment you think looks the most absurd. Uh, Let's see who got the votes. Yeah, I can see why people voted for that. <laughs> How will that shuffle the leaderboard? Let's find out. So I get to say your mom was sacrificed. How does that make you feel? Your mom hey, was I have sacrificed. An idea. Let's go to a crowdfunding set. Another prompt is headed your way. Now please okay. get to it. Okay, get those creative juices flowing.
Let's see how this pans out. Okay. I'm being used to the city. For sake, get a move on. <laughs> Donate some sweets and catch these for the staff and show on the back of it. F you, I want my sweets. <laughs> <clears throat> The Geordie Shark ask answers like my nan's ask. <laughs> he says sorry too often. Let Trump be a bastard again. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I Do your civic know. duty and vote now. Okay, here are the verdicts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mike again? Let's check the scoreboard. We only have time for one more, so let's end it at, right. uh... Hey, Connor, how's it going? The points are worth double this round, so try not to screw this up. How's it going, buddy? Here is your last prompt. Okay, it's the last round. Go for the nuclear option if you have to. I'm doing good. Uh, thanks, Connor. How are you doing, man? If you want to join in, you just have to go to uh, jackbox.tv, enter the codes, and you'll join the game. Uh, the code is in the top right hand corner of your screen. It's good that you're doing good. Okay, let's see how you've grown as writers. I love writing the death of our fifth card. Okay, that's pretty bad. And now I have the Lion King stuck in my head. That's alright. No, you don't have to download it, you just have to go onto a website. There's no downloads, it's just uh, go onto jackbox.tv, I'll put the name in the chat. If you just go there, It'll give you the prompt of a name and the code. You do that, you can go, okay, go in, you can do it from your phone. Um, all of my daughter's friends are still. Um, I, I, I like that one. I like this one. Let's see who got the points. Yeah. Celebrating the death of our fifth child. I am almost saying that's Joel. You look foolish. Oh. Yeah. That was pretty good. Whoa, buddy. It all comes down to this. Yeah, that, I, I know what snakes, what snake means. Yeah, um, I think you joined the audience. Um, you might have ruined some relationships along I'm the way, but you did I'm gonna jump out of Congrats. this particular game and go into another one. I think I think I'm going to Fibbage. Fibbage, Fibbage is a lot easier to understand. <sighs> Expecting a call from my girlfriend. Okay, let's go. But yeah, we'll go to Fibbage. And Fibbage will be a lot easier, so... It'll be the same 
it's also a process. You gotta put in a name, put in a. Uh, if Fibbage is a uh, more. Okay. So let's see what Fibbage about you is like. Enough about you. So I've, I've never played this version. Okay, so we'll find out what it's like. So we got three. Just the three of us wanting to play. We gonna have any more? Um, it looks like it. Are you gonna play as well, or are you? I don't know what enough about uh, Fibogen, enough about you is like, so we'll find out. Hey there, I'm Cookie Masterson, and you know Hello, something? Cookie. I can never hear enough about you. I'm always here for you, friends. Three players. You know, comedy comes in threes, like the Stooges, the Marx Brothers. That's pretty much it. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. Audience members get to guess the truth and pick decoy lies to fool the players. Let's go. Okay. Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to beam a question about you to your device. Answer with the truth. In a sec, you'll get your chance to lie about your fellow players. You get 500 points for fooling people with your made-up answers, 1,000 for finding the truth, and when the question's about you, you get reputation points for players who get the right answer. Ready? Okay. Well, I am. Okay. Submit your honest answer. Let's see. Come on, okay. time's running out. We got one more. There we go. All right, question one. If this player had their own robot, its primary job would be blank. Okay, enter your lies. So from here on out, it's a uh, regular business. You have to make up a lie about uh, this sentence and try and fool other people. Oh, fuck. Okay, where's the truth? Oh, 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 come on! Okay, what did everyone pick? Hey! Okay, fair enough. Let's see what we got. 
The most impressive thing this player has ever built or assembled was Peter Drake. Peter Peter lies now. Uh, so this one is about me. You can't see it, but I'm dancing right here. There we go. Okay, take a look and find the truth. I'm not giving any hints. I can't. I kind of figured that. You know that the All right. that Who part is what? kind of obvious. And you all missed it. <laughs> I know. I think I think he's talking to me. Oh hey! Oh yeah, five points for a hike. Cool. And the question is, the two-word advice this player would give themselves two years ago is blank. <laughs> your advice would be. All right, <laughs> type in your lies. The two-word piece of advice your mom would give to your mom two years ago is. Finish quick before you ruin it for everyone! You had them. You didn't ruin it for everyone. Okay, find the truth. Uh... Alright, let's see what you guys picked. But hey! That's only one way of piece of advice. That's why I picked it. You are now entering the final round. Everyone's gonna write one truth and one lie about themselves. Whatever comes to mind, dig deep because you get points for any player you fool with your lie. And okay. for spotting other players' truths. Get on with it. One truth and one lie. Okay. Anything will Checking. do. And keep an eye on that timer. Moment of truth. Which statement about this player is true? Oh. Uh. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I, I know. Okay, which one? That's kind of why I wanted to stick to the uh, the main one. No, I. I am distracted, so my balance is way Spot off. I can't ride the bike. And there's a battle sword in our house. Um, when were these coming through? 
Ah! Okay. I do prefer the regular one to this because it would have been better. It would have been better if there was. For, for a small party, it's better to do the uh, Fibbage Free. Yeah, I, I really like the game. Yeah, let's do Fibbage Free, let's see how that goes. Still only got three. Connor, do you want to play? If he's still in the chat, let me just check. No, he's left. Okay, it's just three of us until Mike gets back. He said he's expecting his girlfriend to call, so fair enough. I'm Cookie, and I can fit three billiard balls in my mouth. Stick around after the game for a demonstration. Three players. I think I've found the Jack, Chrissy, and Janet to my Mr. Furley. And if you're not playing, don't forget mm. you can still it's join the audience. It's a tiny bit different. The audience votes on fake answers to fool those gullible players, and they also oh, get to guess Mike, the truth. Yeah. Let's hit if it. If you message soon, I was away for you. Yeah. This is round one, and that means you get 500 for each player you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll net a thousand for finding the truth. All right, choose a category. Okay, Mickey, you get to pick what category you do. Wine. First question. There's a medicinal drink from ancient China and Korea that consists of rice wine fermented with 10 to 15 blank. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that might just fool your fellow players into thinking it's the truth. If you're stumped, you can hit the lie for me button, but using it's only worth half the points. Do it. Button if you can't think of something. See, I'm not sure about this one. I, it's, it's weird. It's a bit weird. Okay, those are the choices. Touch the truth on your device now. <laughs> um. Um. Sure. I like, I like all of these. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> oh, Maggie! <laughs> Good lie! Mm, I detect trace notes of oak, cherry, and dead mouse. Definitely some strong dead mouse notes. Absolutely hammered us on that one. Okay, um, pick a category. Let's do fan appreciation. Now listen up. The Altoona Curve, a minor league baseball team, held a really odd promotional night for fans in 2016. Their players wore jerseys with pictures of blank on them. Write your lies now. Okay.
Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. No! One of these is Okay, Lanta. which one's the truth? <laughs> Jar Jar Binks, Richard Simmons, Oprah, or their parents. Um... I don't know! Yeah, so it does go really quickly on this one. It's gone really quickly and again. what did people pick? Oh no. Oh, my you bastards! Hey! Crowd teaser. No! Jar Jar Nobody Binks! Of this. Um, Maggie is still way out there in the lead. Time to pick a category. Yeah, I, I agree. What? NASA. Okay, focus up. Camilla Corona, who went on five missions to the edge of space, was NASA's first blank astronaut. Type in your lies now. Yeah, I probably should turn, on, turn that on. This time it was Write cool for um, use the lie for me button. This time it was cool for in-house. For for everything else. It's a bit slow. Okay, seek the truth. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Rubber chicken, Asian, pig, cat, or virgin. <laughs> okay, I need to extend the timer. I'll extend it after this game. I think that's spelt wrong. It's ice, ice, san. Uh, I think Asian is supposed to be. It was yeah. part of a wacky mission to put giant Groucho glasses on the moon. Doubled. Hey, let me show you something. It's time to look at this. This 1907 illustration from Austria is entitled Trip to Blank. Write your lies now. I said, I said, yeah. Pretty bad. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Trip to the seahorse fight. Trip to hell. Trip to under the sea. Trip to a spa. And trip to Atlanta. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see what everybody selected. Trip to hell. You filled the audience. Trip to under the sea. Maggie Sims. Trip to the seahorse fight. Audience light! You motherfucker! Trip to a spa. No. I've always found it relaxing no. to torture a seahorse. How? Way out in the league, Maggie. Way, way, way out in the league. Give me a category. Kinks. 
Try this one. Le Grand Wolf is the creator of a gay porn site that, oddly enough, is blank themed. Answer your lies now. Finish quick, or just hit the lie for me button. I don't know. All right, pick the truth. A puppy, animal, female, Mormon, or Nazca. I don't know. There's a few good answers in there. Uh, you'll get half the points for using life, life for me. Alright, let's see what everybody picked. Let's see. Oh, for God, I keep picking your life. Life, you bastard. That's mine. That was a complete miss. No. No. Nah, you put an ass card in. The game put an ass card in. It give you half points. Select a category. Okay, Maggie, give us some some answers. Give us a category. Okay, we don't have all day. Okay, we're getting equal rights. All I'm gonna right, put on extended time next In time. In 2008, Ecuador became the first country to give equal rights yeah, to... Yeah, actually, that blank. happens from uh, time right, to time, so lies. I won't worry about it. Write something quick or use the lie for me button. If the, if the game's been a bit difficult, uh, don't be afraid to reload the page. If that happens from time to time, that's probably what happens here. Okay, which one is the truth? Equal rights to the homeless. <laughs> Equal rights to children, the homeless, animals, or nature. Yeah, it, that happens from time to time. If you if you find that hard, then reload the page. I love this part. Good lie, good lie. It made me laugh. Got ya. Got your back, you motherfucker. Go on. That answer the just looks too stupid to not be alive. Be the defendant of a lawsuit. Maggie, you're still in the lead. Uh, I hope you reload the page and it's letting you back in. Fingers crossed. This is the final fibbage. One question left for triple the points. Good luck. In an attempt to teach kids an important lesson, Bernie Carl of Alaska wants to put a blank of blank in every public school. Okay, enter your lies. Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. Cool. Yeah, you, but you're back in, Maggie. Uh, did you have to reload? Okay, look Out for the truth curiosity. and pick it. <laughs> a 
and put in Department of Sex Ed. The Tower of Letters. Statue of Barack Obama. A pair of ruined underwear. Elizabeth Lee. Okay, fair enough. Um. Let's see how things shook out. Let's see. Statue. Okay, that's a lie. Yep. Well done. Department of Sex Ed. It's good. Good line. I like it. Holy shit. It's to teach kids how to grow their own food, and is in no way tied to the conspiracy that most teachers are just giant rabbits in rubber masks. What? Okay, okay. Maggie! Maggie wins, I'm on the bottom again. I don't know if we've still got a few more people in the chat, so let's go for new players. Glad <coughs> to see you listening, new players. Uh, okay, Maggie, you do what you need to do. Mike, if you want to jump in, I'm seeing Ridley XX12, Kevin Flynn 817, that's a cool skateboard. You guys want to get in on this? Beautiful. Welcome back, everyone. And let's go in for a six person game. Hello, Ridley. Hi, I'm Cookie, Welcome and I'm to the looking stream. for a casual game of Fibbage with no strings attached. Big game. I hope you're all hydrated, mm -hmm. and anybody watching can join the audience anytime. Audience members try to spot the truth and choose their own lies to fake out the players. Let's play. As he says. This is round one, where you'll get 500 points for fooling the other players with your lies. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. That was quick. That was quick. The, like, up, no wing around for that one. McDonald's McNuggets officially come in four shapes. Bone, ball, bell, blank. Enter your um. lies now. Bone, ball, bell. Hmm. Hurry up! Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Actually, it says everyone's name on stream. Sorry, I've not had... I've, this is the first time doing this. Ah! I didn't do the extended! I didn't do the extended right, time! Tally, you twat! Um... <laughs> blob. The boot map triangle swiggle bus. I don't know. Um, if you need to reload, uh, don't be afraid to reload. Blob. Yeah, refreshing screen. Audience fly. We've got a person in the audience as well. Good luck. Hey! But there are at least 16 different shapes it can have coming out of you. Leanne668. Alright, choose a category. Ridley XX12. Of convenience. Okay, here's your question. The Echo Park neighborhood in Los Angeles is home to a unique convenience store. It's called the Blank Mart. 
All right, type in your lies. Okay. Yako Park neighborhood in Los Angeles Hurry, turned to a unique me, convenience store. It's coming. called the Blank Mark. Um, Leon again. I believe it was Leon right, again. Where's get the, the truth? Timing. <laughs> Come and go. <laughs> Not sketchy, Mark. <laughs> Midget time travel. Quick and quickie. Tech. Uh, I, d I just... There's so many of these that are so good. Alright, let's see what you guys picked. And I feel bad already. The Midget Mark. <laughs> Quickie. Always go for the Simpsons reference. Time Travel Mark. What?! No explanation! Uh oh, incoming celebrity. Celebrity social media. Celebrity tweet. In August 2012, Aaron Carter tweeted No offense, ladies, but I am blank. Who's Aaron Carter? Type in your lies now. Write something quick or use the lie for me button. Two more, two more, two more. I should I should have gone for the Okay, time. here I'm are really your choices. No offense ladies, but I'm into boys of begging you, a chauvinist, a jerk, passing in the fragment, Aaron Carter, gay. Um I don't know. I feel bad picking the one that I picked. Okay, let's take a look. Who is Adam Carter? Ah, uh, And okay. it was also... Two of you said gay. Hmm, kind of spooky. <laughs> ah! Bam! Believe it or Your not, mom, that was a hell of a hell of a pick. Seriously, no offense. <laughs> no offense, but I'm Aaron Carter. Oh god. Well, welcome back, Kim. I'm leaving. Lose too much with the internet connection. On round issue. two, where all point values are doubled. Okay, pick a category. Innovation, misspellings, misspellings. Let's see how this strikes you. In 2017, the Dallas Morning News apologized for a spelling error they made Same 40 right, years um, earlier. Backside. In 1977, the paper misspelled blank. Write your lies now. Okay. Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Are we all in? Ah, damn. Okay, take a look and find the truth. The paper misspelled Dallas, Wookie, Bologna, Cub. That's terrible. American Rape instead of Rap. Coca Cola. Um, I'm glad we've been around since 1977. Uh 
All right, who picked what? Nah, uh, that's not good. That's not a good sign. Coca-Cola, did they misspell Coca-Cola? It's the audience who lied that. America. Like an American publication would misspell America. Ravens that rap. Well, there it is. Wookie. Uh, Wait, it's what? It's like they say, may the fjord be which you'll. Okay. And your mom has taken the lead. Time to pick a category. Okay, let's go for break-ins. Here's a question for you. We got two in the audience. In 1942, the town of Pascaboula, Mississippi, was terrorized by a man who broke into people's homes just to do one strange thing. Blank. Enter your lies now. Remind me in the chat next time to um, Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. To extend the time of these games in the sentence. I think I might jump into a different game. I might go back to Survive okay, the Internet because that go. might be better Find with more truth. of us here. In 1942, the town of Pascaboula, Mississippi was terrorized by a man who broke into people's homes just to do one thing. Raid the fridge, cut their hair in the sleep, pee in the shower, use the toilet, use the bathroom, feed the oranges, or stare at them sleeping. And what did people pick? Stare at them sleeping? The audience. Giving me the points. Steal lead oranges. It's a good lie. It's a good lie. I nearly picked it myself. Pee in the shower. Did they have showers in 1942? Raid the fridge. Audience lie. Nice. Cut their head in their sleep. Yes. No one picked my Even lie, worse, but he gave okay, I got the truth. The Rachel. Cave everyone the Rachel. Ah, up to second. Maggie, Give me a category. Up Christmas in Japan. Here's the question. Over the last decade, Japan has developed a unique holiday tradition. More than three million people are eating blank on Christmas. Hmm. Type in your lies now. Over the last decade, Japan has developed a unique holiday tradition. More than 3 million people are Finish eating blank on Christmas. Alright, pick the truth. Over the last decade, Japan has developed a unique holiday tradition. More than 3 million people are eating bass, cubic watermelon, chicken, bunnies. Orange chicken, canned bread, KFC chicken on Christmas. <clears throat> All right, let's see what everybody picked. Oh God, that's a good lie. That's a really good lie. Bunnies is too obvious for me. I nearly picked. If it was rabbits, I would have picked it. Watermelon. <laughs> That's such a weird lie. Orange chicken. Good lie. Good lie. I like it. KFC. It can't be KFC. No way. Just like baby Jesus did. Okay. That's that's 
That's crazy. Ah, I'm falling. Ridley takes the lead for the first time. On to round three. It's time for the final fibbage. One last question and it's worth triple. Good luck. Did you, how did when a you, pet cat died in ancient Egypt, know? its owners had a weird way of mourning. They would blank their blank. <laughs> All right, type in your lies. Now the UK ran out. We we ran out because of the uh, the shipping thing. Okay. When a pet cat died in ancient Egypt, its owner has a weird way of mourning. They would blank their blank. That's cool. That's cool. I've I've learned something here. Yeah, so oh, yeah. cheers, at least I. If you can't think of anything. That's fascinating. Okay, which one is the truth? When a uh, pet cat pet cat dies in ancient Egypt, the owners has a weird way of mourning. They would shave their eyebrows and bomb their testicles, melt their heads, lick their fur, laugh their asses off, spit in their tongues, or eat their hearts. Hmm. See, I, I don't know what's silly in all this. All of it's kind of silly. Melt their heads. Okay, what did everyone pick? Okay, lick their fur. Good life, good life. Eat their hearts. The audience giving you the points. Bend their tongues. No, Go good life, good life, whoever's in the audience. Would you believe? Shave oh. their eyebrows. I'm pretty sure that's why the crazy cat lady next door draws hers on. Okay, that's, that's weird. I was last. Your mum is the winner. Uh, let's go back and let's have a look at the other games. See what's there.